We all have goals in life that we want to achieve. We all make a plan for those goals that we want to achieve. And we look anywhere but from within to find motivation to want to achieve those goals. What happens when we don't hear those motivational people like T.D. Jakes or David Goggins to get up and get the life that we want? But I ask you today, what if I told you that you can find a way to gain that motivation from within? I'll do you one better. What if I told you that there's a secret formula that'll enable you to get the goals that you have for yourself done without having any of that short form motivation, also known as discipline? If that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. Number one, remove temptations. If you want to transform your life into one of pure focusedness and grind mode activity, you need to clear the canvas of all the things that's keeping you from achieving those goals. If you're on the game for five hours a day, or you're constantly out smoking and partying and drinking seven days out of the week, that's what's keeping you from putting time towards your goals. Now you can have fun, I'm not telling you you can't have fun, having fun is a part of life. But there may be certain habits that you have that you might have to cut out from your life if you're really serious about wanting to accomplish your goals. It's all about time management. Everyone is given 24 hours a day. Well, 16 hours a day because you need eight hours of sleep and you know what I mean. But with those 16 hours a day, you're presented with an opportunity to be greater than you were yesterday or to stay the same. The temptations of the flesh are strong, but the urge to win should be stronger. There may be bad habits in your life that you know you have to get rid of to get on the path to achieving your goals, but you continue to keep them around because you can't quit and you may be addicted. So let me ask you, are you going to give the flesh what it desires in that moment or are you going to put your head down and focus on what you really want in the long run? Number two, form new habits. Now that you got rid of those nasty bad habits, you now must replace them with habits that will help you move forward in your journey. For example, if you were addicted to going off to the club every single night, now that you've decreased the amount of times that you go to the club or you just cut it out completely, you're not just going to sit at home and do nothing. You have to find a habit that's going to help you stay motivated and focus on your goals, such as exercising, reading, picking up a skill, whether that's a skill to make you money or simply just a hobby. Creating a new healthy habit can create a sense of pride because you realize you have the power to improve your life which in turn can help you find the motivation within yourself to do the goals that you set. And a new habit doesn't just mean something physical. Just transforming your mind and making it a habit to think positively and full of life, if it's so used to thinking negatively, can go a long way. It's a common misconception that a habit becomes a habit after 21 days, but it usually takes longer than that. A habit doesn't fully become a habit until about 66 days. That's a little more than two months. So stay on the path. Keep yourself busy so you don't fall back into old temptations. Matthew 26 verse 41 says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We cannot rely on our flesh to stay strong during the hard times. We must rely on our spirit. I encourage and challenge you to seek God for guidance. Ask him to give you strength and to walk with you in your journey when you're trying to achieve the things you're trying to achieve. Number three, Daily diligence. You need to have a burning desire for this goal of yours. You truly have to want it to the point where you can't even sleep at night. Or if you try to avoid it, it just doesn't sit right with you. That's why when you make it a habit and put it in your daily routine, it'll feel off not doing it. Because it's not about how much you can get done in one day and then just take a two week break. It's about how you put in some every day, how consistent you're being towards this. It's been said that the people who work diligently are the ones that love their work. They enjoy what they do. You must love what you do. You can't just flat out hate working towards your goal because is it really a goal if you don't get some type of enjoyment out of it? Yeah, there's gonna be times where you don't feel like doing them, but like I said in my high value man video, do it when you don't feel like doing it. So when you do feel like doing it, it'll be easy. This is one of the principal factors of being disciplined. Just be consistent. Do it every day and set a time in the day to do it, despite you not feeling like it. Number four, monitor your progress. It can be difficult to stay motivated and focused for long-term goals, but tracking your progress can really help you stay on your path because you can know how far you've come compared to when you started. Remember this, never compare your progress to other people's progress. In other words, never compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to you yesterday or a month ago or a year ago. Every day you should be making progress and getting closer to your goals, even if it's just a little bit of progress. I encourage you at the end of the month, write down the goals that you got done for that month. Do this for an entire year. And if you're consistent and always on top of things, I guarantee you, you will be satisfied with your progress. Most people underestimate the progress they can make in one or two years and get sad and discouraged if they can't do it in a month. They take longer than expected of themselves and just give up. Stay on your path and monitor every step of the way. 
Number five, create deadlines. Create certain deadlines for yourself when it comes to carrying out certain tasks. Working with a deadline causes stress, but stress isn't always bad. Positive stress enhances focus and motivation. It gives you a psychological and a physical performance boost. Bad stress, however, is something you don't need. You really have to play around and experiment with positive and negative stress. Because sometimes the positive stress you get from setting deadlines works until the task becomes too difficult and the probability of success decreases. Too much work in a short amount of time can lead you to feeling overwhelmed and as a result, loss of motivation. But the person who gives themselves deadlines will make more progress in the right certain time frame versus the person who doesn't give themselves a deadline at all. When you create deadlines for yourself, they help you keep your promises, avoid being overly perfectionate, enhance your creativity, meaning you'll find a way to get it done no matter how you have to do it because you set a deadline to it. And they help you prioritize the things you want to get done and put a significant amount of importance on them. Number six, do the hard things first. This one is so important and has really helped me in my day-to-day -day life. I was always someone who would procrastinate and leave things for last, such as when it came to homework, chores, or something important that I really had to get done. It wasn't until I started doing the hardest thing first that when I did it, it lifted a huge weight off of me because I was always doing anything else but the thing I had to get done. And it was always in the back of my mind. Oh, I still have to get this task done. I still have to get this task done. But when I did the hardest thing first, I could look forward to the rest of the day with ease. Doing the most difficult task in the beginning of the day will get easier and easier the more you do it. Some people don't even do the hardest task at all because they fear that they're gonna fail at them. Or it has to be absolutely perfect so they leave it for last and then they just don't do it. Or they approach it with fear, which in turn will make them feel bad about themselves and like crap for not doing it. Can I give you some advice on how to cut this out of your life forever? Just start. Just start. For so long, I never put out content on my YouTube channel because I had so many ideas and I wanted everything to be perfect and I ended up doing none of it. But then one day I just got tired of not doing anything and I just started. With the thought of knowing that I'm not making everything as perfect as possible. I'm simply just shooting and releasing, shooting and releasing, shooting and releasing. Get out of your own head and start. Doing the hard things first saves you time, increases mental energy, and teaches you to think from a mindset built with confidence by removing fear. And trust me, when you just start, the more you do it, you will remove that fear from your life. Number seven, put your goals where you can see them every day. Write down your goals on a piece of paper, hang them up on a wall, make a vision board on all the goals you have for the new year. That way it'll make all your goals the more real. Put them where you'll see them every day, in your room, in your car, or at your desk. When you do this, it'll increase your motivation to actually do them. Print out pictures of your goals so you'll get a visual of what they look like when you officially get them. Write down inspirational quotes that relate to hard work, discipline, basically anything that'll keep you on your path to success. Plan things out thoroughly and how you're gonna get there and what you're gonna do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on and so forth. Benefits of putting your goals somewhere where you can always see them include greater direction, greater focus, and can increase productivity. Setting specific goals for yourself can transform your habits, your mindset, and your confidence. And always make sure you check back with these goals regularly. When you do this, you keep them at the forefront of your mind. That way you direct your time, attention, and energy towards them more. And most importantly, it's much easier to say no to other opportunities that could derail your focus. Number eight, remind yourself why you started. When the going gets tough and you feel like you can't push anymore, you need to ask yourself why you're doing the things you're doing. Why are you trying to accomplish these goals? What will it do for you when you get them done? Reminding yourself why you started gives you a chance to reflect on the past and the present while preparing for the future. We all need a reason why. Maybe it's to achieve financial freedom or to prove people wrong or to prove to yourself that you could actually pull it off or all three. Without a reason why, there's no motive. Be sure you have a reason why or make one. It'll set a clearer direction when trying to achieve your goals. Number nine, enjoy the journey. Success is a journey, not a destination. Be concentrated on the step-by-step -step progress. Get excited every time you gain a little piece of the puzzle of your success journey. Not only being happy once you finally reach the end. And I'm mainly talking about the long-term goals, not the goals that you can achieve in a day. The journey to success can be a long one. And some people's journeys are longer than others because the definition of success varies from person to person. But imagine this, you put all this work in, you put your head down and focus, really, really honing in on your craft and not enjoying the little wins. That's a depressing life. You ever wait for something for so long, let's say an Amazon package, every day you look forward to it because you're so excited for it to come. And then when it finally comes, you're happy, but now you have nothing to look forward to. That's what I mean. Enjoy the journey, especially the little wins. Number 10, 
take it easy on yourself. During this journey to success and becoming more disciplined, there will be ups and downs. There's gonna be times you wanna do it, times that you don't wanna do it, and times where you'll feel like you don't wanna pursue this anymore. But with all that I talked about, through it all, you have to remember to take it easy on yourself. Yes, push yourself to achieve your goals and dreams, but remember that you'll make mistakes along the way, and that's okay. Don't let that discourage you, and more importantly, don't let that be the reason that you quit on yourself. It is so crucial that you have a positive mindset to ensure longevity in your journey to success. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and you wanna see more of my videos, here's some of my videos right here. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with somebody that might need to hear this, and be sure that you stay tuned for more. I love you all very much, and I will see you on the next video.